All right, well, welcome to the $200 studio, or about 200 bucks, give or take $20 or so. Here's what it consists of. Number one, the Kodak ZI8 camera. And if you haven't watched my previous review of the Kodak ZI8, here's what I love about it. It actually has an external microphone input, which is critical for shooting high quality video. The next thing that you have here is the Kodak is capable of shooting high definition, which is really good. In fact, the quality is equal to a 300 or even a, some $500 cameras I've actually used. And it, as you can see here, I have it mounted to a little tripod. I'll tell you more about that in a moment. It has a little slot here on the side so you can open up and put an SD card in it. That is the removable card. And it records in QuickTime format. Now for Mac users, absolutely phenomenal. For PC users, it comes with software that lets you convert the video into a format that's easier to edit. Or you can actually import this right into Sony Vegas, which is one of the software programs I recommend using. Otherwise, you can just use QuickTime on the PC, it's QuickTime Pro, to open and save the file and do rudimentary editing as well for around $30. Now, another great feature of the Kodak is on the top, it has a macro switch. So you can do close-up video, and it actually looks pretty good. All right, so overall, for the money, this is a great camera. It is, after all, about a $150 camera, so you're going to get as good as it's going to give you. Let's talk a little bit about the tripod. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend the legs. What's great about this tripod is it packs into virtually any suitcase, and one of the things that I did when I found out about the Kodak ZI8 and found this tripod, which is a Manfrotto, that's M-A-N-F-R-O-T-T-O 785B. This particular tripod you can get for around $40 or $50. Now, you can get other tripods. I'm not saying this is for sure the one, but what I like about it is it's sturdy enough, it's easy to use, it's got a nice pistol grip, and as you can see here, you can actually adjust the height of this to this height, okay? It's great, okay? So the nice thing is you could actually pack three of these cameras, three of these tripods, and actually do a three-camera shoot. But let's talk next about the microphone. So I'm going to just set down our little tripod and as you can see it's easy to manage, easy to maneuver, easy to manage. Well what I'm going to do right now is clip on a microphone and what is this? Well it's an Audio-Technica microphone. I'll show you the box in a moment and right now I'm going to put this on using a loop, a lavalier loop which is what the TV people use. Clip this be below my other lavalier mic and right now I'm going to snap my fingers and I'm going to record with a camera, another Kodak ZI8 that's off screen right now. I think I'll move this out of the way and what you're going to see is we're actually doing what's known as chroma key. So if we click, you can see the green screen behind me which when I snap again, we're actually going to replace with whatever we want. Now you'll see that the video quality is good enough. Now there are a couple drawbacks to the Kodak ZI8 and that is it's fully automatic. So one thing that happens is anytime you're moving it around it's going to automatically adjust for lighting conditions. That's something that you don't want in a professional camera but once again this is a good enough camera to use for almost any application. So I'm going to snap. Let's use the regular camera now. Okay. I'm going to take off the microphone and back to the microphone. What is it? Well. This is the Audio-Technica ATR3350. That's the Audio-Technica AT3350. It's about $30, so very affordable, easy to use, and it is a condenser microphone. There's only one thing that I don't like about it, and that is it uses some batteries. It actually uses hearing aid batteries. Easy to replace, you can get it from any drugstore, but one of the little drawbacks I've seen is this is the little module right here I frequently forget to turn it off okay so it means okay if I forget to turn it off my batteries are gonna wear down after a couple days and I gotta go get some new ones so not a great thing but again for the money it is good enough now you could go to Radio Shack and get a twenty dollar or so microphone that will plug in just fine into the Kodak camera as well so here's the deal the summary one more time Kodak ZI8. You can find these for as little as $150. The prices vary. That's one thing I've noticed. 
the Manfrotto 785B tripod and the microphone is the Audio-Technica ATR3350. Bottom line, this is a good enough studio that you can pack into any bag, take it with you anywhere. You're able to record very nice quality video. It's good enough to make any kind of marketing video you'd probably need for a small business application or even a nice product. And all together fits into a very small bag. I actually can carry as many as three of these tripods and the cameras when I'm doing an interview. There's one other thing that you probably want to add and we'll show it right to my right here and that is some sort of a soft box lighting kit. You can get a lighting kit with three lamps or three lights for as little as around $200 and typically up to about $500 or so that are really good enough for just about any kind of an interview or even doing chroma key like you see here. Now, all of these are available. I'm going to provide links below the video as long as you're watching this on our blog page and you'll be able to click to order any of these from Amazon. Amazon I found is a great place to get these products because their warranties and their return policies are very, very nicely handled and if you're signed up for Amazon Prime you get all the shipping for free which is also a great deal. So bottom line is you can put these together typically the cameras are around $150 or so the microphone is around $30 or so. This particular tripod is in the $40 to $50 range, although you can find some for a little bit less. Again, you don't have to get this, but for the money, I like it a lot. So there you go. That's the $200 or so camera studio. Again, the only other thing you might want to consider buying is a nice little light kit. All the links are below. We'll see you in the next video.